you start messing around with them battery saws for a while and then you get that rip saw 200 t killer back in your hands and you're just like oh <laughs> back with the adults okay we can cut now that thing it just freaking goes I'm loving. What are you doing here? I'm loving the break in on these boots. These NYX boots are incredible. They're better than any boot I've ever worn. And I've worn a lot of boots. Just wanted to give you a little update there. And I'm going to change some boots and might, might do a little foreshadowing. I want to kind of break them in and see how they do. I've never really worn Cox before. So I'm going to try them out. Ooh, spiky, spiky, spike. These are the Hoffman Armor Pros. Um, I've heard good things about them. Wanted to try them out, so we'll see. As for the top handle saws, that's what this video is about. Um, I've just pretty much placed them in order of the saws that I would actually run if I was doing a removal. I guess I'll wait so you can see my full opinion on it and I'll run the rest of the footage. So the top handles that I'm gonna be going through today are the Steel 193T, the Milwaukee M18 top handle, the Stock 201, the Husky T540i, and a ported Ripsaw 201. And I'm gonna give you my thoughts on them if you're new, getting into the cutting world or you just want to hear a guy's opinion um that's what i'm gonna give you here let's start up some saws let's see if i got some ear pro so you freaking nerds don't get all crazy he doesn't have ear pro on he's gonna die i feel like my ears are probably already done standing next to a 50 cal shooting it all day it's probably not good for your tinnitus all right where should we start Isn't that?
This is so much better than the 193. Looks like it should fit there. This is also a really good saw.
thank you for watching the top handle shootout uh, in last place we've got the 193 from still in fourth place we've got the milwaukee m18 top handle chainsaw i think that this is a good first run for milwaukee however i think it fell short on a couple things that cannot be overlooked for the professional arborist in third place, we've got the stock 201. In second place, we've got the Husky T540i with the 300 battery. And in first place, we've got my pride and joy, the ported 201 from Ripsaw. This thing eats. Uh, my, my rotation right now would probably be, I would use this for removals and, and bigger wood. And then I would probably use this on my pruning stuff. Um, and then I usually keep the M18 by the chipper. So there's a there's a 201 if I need a, I need a backup as well. This is just my personal opinion. Um, no reason to get you know crazy excited about it. But this is what I'm running, and this is currently what I think of all these saws. I think I think this is a great saw. This definitely outshines the Milwaukee M18 no matter what their marketing claims are. If I was an arborist, I would get the Husky. If I was a homeowner with Milwaukee tools, I would get the M18. I'm not beating up Milwaukee here, but it just fell short to me. And don't get me wrong, it's still a good saw, it runs. I've ran this saw often. Um, I'm not beating it up by any means. I have a lot of Milwaukee tools. I'm a big Milwaukee fan. However, when it comes to forestry and arboristical things, uh, I think the Husky outshines it tenfold. I think with the Milwaukee, it does not cut unless it's dogged in. It's really hard for it to get torque when it's not dogged in. Whereas the Husky outshines it in that manner. And this 193 is just a dog. I, I don't even know why I have it. I think I got it in a bundle deal with my 500i. And it was a backup saw when I needed a backup saw. But this, if you need a removal saw and you're doing normal tree work and you're not doing a bunch of pruning stuff, I would get the rip saw ported 201. I think this is a great saw. It just doesn't have the the cutting power that the 201 that's ported has and i i love this saw. i love both of these saws for different reasons um the ported 201 is just is just my favorite I, there's something about holding um you know a two stroke in your hand and that's that's ported and polished and getting after it i don't have every chainsaw there is these are just the top handles in my rotation I hope this was informative for you. I hope my feedback was something you can use to your benefit. I don't have a 2511. I don't have the Makita battery saw. There's probably an Echo that I don't have. I mean, there's a lot of them and you can spend a million dollars on top hand saws. This is just what I've used and what's worked in real life. And uh, this is just my honest feedback. I'm not gonna give you specifics on how many milliamps batteries have or you know, how many gigawatts of gasoline it can take in but I can tell you what I feel. And I've done plenty of removals with the 201. Um, I, I've, done, I've done work with these saws and I can just tell you what, what my thoughts are. Remember, this is just my opinion as a working arborist, as somebody who is doing tree work every single day. Um, for a homeowner, any of these saws will work, except maybe the 193. I'm sure it's fine. I'm just beating up on it. It's just a dog. I was extremely impressed with the Husky T540i. That is a awesome saw. I think the people who are telling you that the Milwaukee is competing with the Husky, I'm not saying they're not telling the truth, but I just don't know if they've used it in a professional capacity. I, I don't know. It, don't get me wrong. The Milwaukee is still a great saw so i love milwaukee stuff i have a bunch of their batteries i have a bunch of their stuff milwaukee is the tool that i choose to buy for impacts pretty much everything i have is milwaukee all my cabling and bracing stuff um it's all milwaukee so i'm, I'm not a milwaukee hater 
I just think it needs improvement and I do not want Milwaukee's marketing to outshine its performance. So that's, that's what I got as far as, as far as, uh, the review goes, put it down in the comments, what your questions are. Sorry, I don't have a 2511 or, you know, every single gizmo and gadget out there. These are pretty much the industry standard lineup, except the 2511. <laughs> Also wanted to give Damien from August Honicky's crew a shout out. He made these lanyards. I picked it up from him at the TCIA. He really knocked it out of the park because there's different locations you can choose to put a carabiner. So you can just go from cutting to your carrot tool or whatever you're using. And it just goes right on. It's an excellent, excellent job. All the sewing is top notch. Uh, it's a great lanyard. Thanks, Damien. I'm up here on this wood pile breaking in these caulk boots, and it's like I'm basically Spider-Man now, so I can just pretty much walk on any log and go where no man has gone before. They're just spikies, you know? And I can just, like, step. Whew. Yeah, that's cool. Now I'm like, cool. Wow, up on a log. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, okay. I think I was born to wear caulks. <laughs> this is wicked. I got sticky feet. I got Velcro shoes. Yep. Walking on the logs. <laughs>